Right, so in this particular video, this is the first video in a playlist that we're going to be dealing with angles and straight lines and perpendicular. And I'm going to use um, quite a few examples from GCSE at roundabout level D, level C to give you some idea. But this particular video is all just by way of introduction. So there's four things that you need to remember when you're dealing with angles and straight lines. And the first one is you don't need to worry too much about the the name itself, but they call them corresponding angles, so corresponding angles. And really all that does is it deals with angles on, um, let's say, um, two parallel lines and they're crossed with a straight line. So two parallel lines will be something like, say, uh, a railway track where it goes off into the distance and the distance between the two rails is exactly the same no matter how far you go, it's always going to be the same, and that's parallel lines. Well, corresponding angles are, it, what it says is that this angle here is exactly the same as this angle here, and that's corresponding angles. Okay, the next one is alternate angles. Okay, so alternate, and again, it deals with exactly the same idea of two parallel lines so again same same train track really and those two parallel lines are crossed by a straight line and what alternate angles says is that this angle is exactly the same as this angle i think some teachers call them z angles or something like that i've seen that a couple of times and you can see that it's it's pretty much the shape of a z but it's called alternate angles. Okay, the next one is opposite. Okay, and that's where if you've got two straight lines together, so there's something like that, okay, then this angle is exactly the same as this angle. So if this angle is, say, 120 degrees, then this angle will be 120 degrees. And you will come across that quite a lot on some of the GCSE questions. So I'd say all of those three really are quite common. And then the final one that you need to remember is supplementary angles. OK, uh, supplementary is a bit of a funny word. So if I write it up there, supplementary. OK, I hope I've spelt that right. Let me just check I have. Yep, supplementary, right, spelt that right. OK, and all supplementary is, is that if you've got, um, again, your two parallel lines, OK, and you've got a straight line that passes through those straight lines, uh, through those parallel lines, then this angle and this angle, OK, add up to 180 degrees. OK, so... Um, that does come up from time to time on some of the GCSE work. Um, I will be using it on some of the examples, but the three main ones that you need to remember are these and use that one occasionally as well. I hope that's OK. Please do uh, like, uh, add a comment below if you're not sure about anything, subscribe to the site, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.